I cannot wait. So I am just going to be reading off my phone right here, and then we're going to be picking out your guys' favorite shadows for a palette. Yay! <laughs> And then we'll create a look with it. I just thought it'd be kind of fun. I don't know. I, th I think it'd be neat. I got to get rid of all these singles. <laughs> Many of them I already own. And I think it's because that whole, you know, like attracts like, your vibe attracts your tribe type of thing. So you guys are subscribed to me because I have shadows that you like and use. And I, you know, and I own them. So, okay, here we go. Got the palette. I got my phone right here and I got my communities tab pulled up. The first person is Nally A. She loves makeup geek daydreamer. Light lavender shimmer for so long. Okay, great. So I think I'm going to try and pull out my old daydreamer. Is this daydreamer? Oh, first time. Nally, that's a great pick. Okay, next one is... Kelly from Keep Beauty Real, she cannot pick just one. She's also a single shadow lover. And I have, I do a monthly collab with her and Kara from Beauty in the Frizz. So if you want to go check that out, I can leave it linked down below for you as well. But she likes Davina's Toucana, um, one of my all-time favorites as well. So let me go grab that one out. So glad nobody said any Glam Shop shadows because Glam Shop, even though I love their shades, um, I can't pronounce the name. So, okay, Toucana. Let's grab Toucana. Is this Toucana? It's one of these. Is this Toucana? Cygnus. Thalassic. I pronounce it Magellanic. Magellanic. Yeah. Magellan with an ick on the end. But no. Somebody else. That's a Nakara. Okay. So I can't even find Kelly and I's favorite <laughs> shade. 2,000 years later. Okay, so <laughs> you're never going to believe this. I can't find it. <gasps> yes. Why did that take so long? I feel like that just lets me know that I don't know my collection like I thought I did. Here's Ducana. Oh, she beautiful. Uh, we'll get swatches at the very end for all of this as well. Okay, back on track. Sydney Grace Red Chameleon. Oh, yes, darling, yes. I think this one's in my color shimmers. Um, is it in here? I can, like, just look at it and be like, bam, there it is when I see it. Nope, that's, it's not in this one. Here it is. Look, what, 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 watch, watch this. Ooh, Red Chameleon right there. That's it. Looks just like Makeup Geeks Insomnia. The formula is like an upgraded version of Makeup Geeks Insomnia. Look at our palette so far. It is beautiful i love it so far okay and that one was sent in by kim wilson so jessica thanks so much for submitting yours yours is the nars single in sophia i checked the website nars isn't selling any of their singles they're all which means they might be reformulating so they're trying to sell out all the singles it wouldn't surprise me if they were anyways because they're also seeing selling out and putting on sale their duos and their quads so i wonder if they're like going to a new formula okay so Pitonuski. Uh, likes Makeup Geek's Shimma Shimma in the spotlight and Grandstand. Oh, Grandstand's one of my favorites. Oh, yes. Okay. Grandstand in the spotlight, which I believe I have in the old formula. Spotlight. Yep. In the spotlight. And then my Shimma Shimma is in my neutrals. I'm going to use the old Shimma Shimma. I'm assuming that she likes the old Shimma Shimma best because most people that like Shimma Shimma like the older formula better than the newer formula and that that's gonna go right here but that's that's an old pan uh the new shimmer shimmer actually is more of like a satin matte not a satin shimmer which this is more like a satin shimmer than it is a satin matte well i think this is probably the truest form of a satin you can possibly get but definitely definitely shinier than the new shimmer shimmer okay craze dazed she says that I don't have her favorite, but she went ahead because she knows my channel so well. She gave me Makeup Geeks Peach Smoothie. That's in her top 10. It's also in mine. Thank you so much, Craze Days. We got you. Peach Smoothie. Her favorite, though, she goes on. I, I had to, like, twist her arm. She loves Shine by SD, Accelerate, 
or Glam Rush. And those are two shadows that are very beautiful, but actually I'm not really attracted to buying them, but they're very beautiful looking. Um, I think that if I'm not mistaken, and I'll go ahead and put a picture up here somewhere, you know, of the shade or maybe even a swatch or whatever, but they are uh, multi-chrome iridescence, if I'm not mistaken. So I did at one point look them up though. I did, I promise. Sandra Shaw, she thinks Stila Moonlight. Um, she's went through so many of them. I looked it up. It's a beautiful shade. It does look like a one and done. I don't have that shade. So Sandra, thanks so much for submitting that one. Nails to Love, Makeup Geek's her favorite. She likes Vanilla Bean, Cupcake, Vintage, Bitten, and Whimsical. Let's just go ahead and get them all out. I mean, if I'm going to create a look, it'll, you know, it'll be fun. So let me grab them all out and I'm going to take, I think vanilla bean is new and I don't know if I have cupcake or not. I think cupcake is also in the new version. I do have the old bitten. So I'm going to grab old when I can just for nostalgic reasons. And then if I don't have it in the old, I'll, I'll switch over to new. So I think cupcake was actually, ooh, was actually in the old but then she brought it back where's cupcake don't tell me it's in the in the neutrals okay i guess maybe it is i don't know let me look oh it is it is it's it's this one right here wow i didn't realize that. i thought cupcake was in the um the colors but it's not okay so cupcake vanilla bean is also in the neutrals and it's the second one down so i'm gonna grab it We've got like the perfect palette going on, folks. Like the perfect palette. Look at this so far. Look at this palette. This is like, I'm probably going to use this one for like a month straight because I've got a perfect deepening slash like, I don't know what it is about that bitten shade, but it's gorgeous. These two multi-chromes, dual chromes. These shadows right here are like the perfect neutrals. Oh, give it to me. Thanks so much. If you guys are finding value in this content, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Let's keep going. Oh, vintage, vintage. Okay, so vintage, I might have to check on that later to see if I've got it because I think it's in, let me see if it's in one of the newer ones. I don't think it's in one of the newer ones. Is it? You guys are making me think like hardcore really quick just really quick i thought it was one of these like gray ones that's tinsel town that's um that steampunk i may not have vintage so yeah i may not have vintage i hmm no actually i think it is one of these right here prom night egyptian queen uh you know what let's just cheat and look real quick <laughs> There's no harm in that. <laughs> Ooh, vintage is in the new one. Okay, that's crazy. I think here it is. It's right here. <laughs> uh, totally missed it the first time around, folks. <laughs> Just so you know. Here she be. Okay, vintage. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness I did not sleep on that one because I just love it. And whimsical. Whimsical is like that. I think it's the pale purple, and I'm pretty sure it's this one right here that's nostalgic okay so is this whimsical yes I always get them confused but there you have it Ooh, that's another like beautiful brow bone highlight shade oh my goodness this is like an everyday bridal shadow right there oh give it to me yes 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 okay loving it loving it Cleona Spire, Lethal Cosmetics Numb or Colored Rain Forbidden. Um, so Colored Rain Forbidden is, it's not in the Queen of, ooh. It's not in the Queen of Hearts palette, is it? If it is, I do have it, but it's in a palette. And you know what? I will pop it out for you if I have it. I don't have any Lethal Cosmetics. I do have like five Cleona shades and I'm pretty sure Spire is not one of them though. So unfortunately I'm going to have to put some of this stuff on my wish list. Okay. Then Patricia goes on to say that she likes makeup geeks. Shimmer shimmer. We got that. We got your cover girlfriend, uh, latte, mocha and creme brulee. Oh yeah. Latte. Here's creme brulee. Latte. Mocha is I know it's in the new formula, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab it real quick from there. Or at least I thought it was. 
Why do I keep thinking? Now just read it this time, Kenra. Read. Or is did she mean Morocco? I think she might have meant Mor No, she said M-O-C-C-A. Okay, either that's Morocco or that's Mocha, which would be Mocha with only one typo. So I think it's Mocha. I think it's Mocha that she's talking about. Which would be only available in the old shadow, I guess. That's Dark Roast. Embellished. Cabin Fever. Tan Lines. Is this Mocha? Wild West. Oh, that's like my favorite cool tone shadow ever. That's buffed. That would be another one that we probably should pull out for duping purposes. That's Artemis. Boy, do I... So... Oh, I bet you it's in here. We do. We need these dark shadows, too. Okay, that's Bada Bing. <gasps> do I not have it? Spiced Apple. It would have to be a brown shade. Ugh, I know that... It... Coffee before talking. Americana chocolate wasted. Dark roasted. Espresso yourself. There's no mocha. Let's put Morocco in. Because I know Morocco is among some of the favorites for Makeup Geek. And I know Morocco is this, yeah, this shade right here. So we'll just put Morocco in. Oh, yes. Is that not gorgeous or what? Like, come on. So moving right along. Um, yeah, sorry about that one. I I thought that Makeup Geek had a mo mocha shade. Uh, you know what? The internet gives all answers. Okay, the internet gives all answers. Okay, so I'm only seeing it in a round pan. I'm not seeing it in... Well, there are putting up like, here's what's for sale on Makeup Geek. Like, last chance, get it that kind of thing that's latte as usual i wonder if latte as usual replaced mocha you know i don't think i have mocha it looks like i do though that shade looks so familiar that's faux fur you know what let me just do latte as usual i'll put morocco back and then i'll put latte as usual in place and i think that was actually probably the one that replaced it okay because i'm pretty sure I, I thought I had mocha in the old round pan, but I don't. Very warm toned, dark brown with a matte finish. It's discontinued. Eh. How do I not have this shadow? There it is on the Makeup Geek website. How do I not have that shadow? How do I not have it? Please, somebody explain to me how I don't have it. Next up, maybe should I just go ahead and take it out? Let's just take it out since I don't actually have mocha. Uh, Regina Howe puts dandelions mattes, especially blues and greens. I don't have any dandelions. Um, I think it's Dandelions Co. is, is um, the company. I really, I have them on my list of ones to try. So Hunter Siler is looking for a single baby blue similar to Jafar I'm Cold. And I thought that Terra Moons had a good one and also Copacetic Cosmetics. So that's what I told him. Makeup Geek Starry Eyed and Makeup Geek Mesmer. Oh, Mesmerized has got to go in. That is my favorite, all time favorite one and done shadow. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig out those two really quick. So, oh, that's nostalgic. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna rip that puppy right out. Oh, do I already have Starry Eyed in there? That's in the spotlight. So here's Makeup Geek's Mesmerized. It's one of my all time favorite shadows ever. And then I thought I had Starry Eyed. Let me grab it in the new pan just because I know there it is starry eyed I don't oh yeah I guess I don't have it in the old pan that's one of them that I thought I did but I actually don't so that's makeup geek starry eyed all right let's move on guys we are making a fabulous fabulous neutral palette oh tiara by Sydney Grace um that's Nilam Propos and Davina's Courtney. You know, I don't have Courtney. I did try to get a hold of some Davina mats a long time ago. I tried to add some to my cart and it, they sold out. Um, I don't know. She may have just not had um, any of them in stock or something like that. So, so we got the mesmerized. We got starry eyed. Thank you, CJ Evans. Laura Compton says, how can she just pick one? She wants Sydney Grace's hot stuff. It's a dupe for Max Woodwinked. You know, do I have... Sydney Grace's hot stuff. <laughs> it's going to be embarrassing if I don't because I like to think of myself as a subject matter expert for Sydney Grace. Yes, I do. I do have hot stuff. Um, thank you to Craze Days for telling me that she 
uses her email to find shadows that she has purchased because as long as it gives you an itemized list, <laughs> basically, um, you can then find that you have it. Uh, so Sydney Grace. Okay. Oh yes. Oh wow. Warm tone, light brown metallic with, okay. I think it would probably be in here somewhere, folks. Is it this one? Oh, on the first try. I have redeemed myself. I have redeemed myself. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look, this is like a perfect bridal palette. Look at that. Look at that. You guys did this. This is all you. This is all you. This isn't me. This is you. I'm just putting it together. If I've got it, I'm putting it together. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. We are going to, okay. I'm going to have to create about 11 looks with this because first of all, this is just absolutely gorgeous. This palette right here so far. And secondly, this is a lot of shades. So <laughs> I'm going to have to just, you know, cr several looks. Okay. Several looks. Tierra by Sydney Grace. Who knows my heart? Here it is. I can just pick this puppy out. All right. Um, thank you. That's Nilam uh, Propulse. I'm, I'm sorry. I do apologize. But the name has escaped me. This person wants Cindy Grace's tiara. All right. Makeup Geek Chickadee. You know, I don't think I have the old chickadee, to be honest with you. I don't think I have it. That's Morocco. There's Sidekick. Is this chickadee? That's Early Bird. I don't think I have Makeup Geek's chickadee. Unless she put it in the new formulation. Unless she put it in the, the new one. I don't think I have it. Okay, it's in the new one. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get it in the old one. So I always bought the Makeup Geek rounds when they were about a dollar um, to a dollar fifty. So like I didn't spend uh, a ton of money. You know, like I didn't spend the six dollar price point for most of them. I did, however, um, I don't know. I guess I can say I kind of knew Makeup Geek was like falling behind. So I went ahead and I purchased these. I did use somebody's code for 10% off. They weren't even having a sale. So I did get, I purchased these for, I purchased the set. Okay. So I got the set and they were like $324. I got 10, 10% off. So I got 30 bucks off of this set. So I paid over $200 for these. I would not change that for the world. I'm glad that I put my money, you know, invested my money where I you know, wanted it to go. So I feel really confident. That's all I'm going to say about Makeup Geek up until this point, uh, up until the time that I'm filming this. Makeup Geek has not put out their kind of like, I don't want to say their farewell video, but Marlena has not updated us since. I have some thoughts and opinions. I'm still like working through my emotions and things of that nature. So I will uh, plan to do a a get ready with me style video. In fact, I would kind of like to live stream it. So make sure that you drop a comment down below if you want to see that live stream action happen. And you know what? I'll since so many of these old school makeup geek and new school makeup geek rebrands are in here, I will probably just, you know, just grab this palette right here and say let's just do a look together and and just kind of like reminisce and feel nostalgic and talk about our feelings through the makeup geek. Um, closing process but then also um, and and I want to state above all else I, there will be absolutely no speculation as to why Makeup Geek uh, closed the doors there will be none of that kind of talk because I am not a brand owner and I do not feel that I have that right to step in and say anything about why a brand chooses to close their doors so that will never happen. Um, but I just, you know, I kind of want to wait for Marlena to put out her video. So then that way we can kind of talk back and forth about, um, just, just our feelings around the makeup geek closing and what we feel like it's, it means, um, for, for the beauty YouTube community. That's what the, the focus is going to be around. It's not going to be around, well, this is why I think makeup geek closed. And, and that would be just, that would take us down the wrong path and it would also not feel good either. So that is really wonderful. Back on track. The next shade is Sydney Grace Troops 
and that is by Regina Howe. So sh thank you so much, Regina. I know you posted up above, you had a couple shades that I didn't actually have, but Regina, um, she put in there that she wants Sydney Grace Troops. What troops? Okay, that it, it kind of looks like Paris. So it's one of these shadows right here. I can tell you that right now. And I think this is the one. Yes. Oh, I am so good. I'm so good. This is troops. Oh man. Oh man. So we've got almost a full one. So that means I got to put mine in. I got to put my favorite. That's the last remaining uh, shadow. So let me just say Mesmerized is one of my all-time favorites. Tierra is one of my all-time favorites. Um, Tucana is also uh, among some of my top favorite shadows. I think I want to choose a favorite that would really... I don't know. I kind of feel like I would want to make it, you know fun and and awesome and just a little bit different a little bit different so i think should i do luxy should i do glam shop or should i do jd glow ah uh, so many decisions or terra moons you know i do have some terra moon i i have a love hate relationship with terra moons because i will say this terra moons um it doesn't stay on my eyelids very well at all. Actually, I do have these two shades right here. So this is Sunlight and Starburst right there, those two. Oh, but what if, oh man. So this one right here has this huge dip and it is, it's Terra Moon's um, Terra Borealis. I think it's probably one of my more favorite shadows by Terra Moons and I think a lot of other folks really enjoy it as well and I think I use this in my dupe palette for the Huda Booty Huda Huda Booty Huda Booty come on Kendra Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette so I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna say this is probably among one of my favorites this duochrome this just this like genre of duochrome so you know that pinky peach mauvey undertone with a teal turquoise blue shift i know i'm like really stretching it out there and making this like a spectrum but this to me is such a wearable beautiful sparkly duochrome that just it gives the right amount of reflection the right amount of i don't know how to put it any other way that's the way i feel like i can wear pinks and it's the way i feel like i can wear blues and that's that's like my nexus to being able to have both pink and blue shadows because otherwise I feel like blue just kind of washes my blue eyes out. Um, and I like more contrasting on my eyes, like, you know, this, this chickadee right here. So, and I do want to add something just a little bit and we have makeup geek insomnia that I could have put in, but we do have like, in my opinion, an updated revised, formulation and that is um sydney grace's com red chameleon and i think that one that's great so i don't feel the need to put makeup geeks insomnia in there so i'm gonna go ahead and put terra moons um terra borealis in as the final shade so this is it folks this is the palette what do you think i want to create a look with this um, but this, this took quite a bit of time to just kind of like dig around and find these shadows and, and have fun with them. So should we go ahead and swatch the palette out? Just kind of put some of these shades on the back of my hand and just show you guys. So many of these shadows are very utilitarian. So we're gonna start with vanilla bean. Many of these shades are very utilitarian. So I think you're going to find that, you know, eh, okay, they don't swatch the best, but they really work very well. Okay. This is makeup geeks shimmer shimmer right here coming at you light pinky nudie ever so slightly like an effervescence of shimmer on the lid okay and probably one of the most popular cult classic favorite is makeup geeks peach smoothie i do um showcase a you know looking at the rebrand versus the old round pans and so if you guys need that that's going to be linked up here in the i cards as well as down below for you if i can think about it and you guys can go check out that video because i think um with makeup geeks you know closing kind of nearing around the corner you guys might want to know like oh should i pick up a makeup geek but if you're in doubt i would just go ahead the rebrand is it's fabulous it's great this is i can't remember is it whimsical yes it is okay makeup geeks whimsical right here oh i see goodness so beautiful 
really in love with this shade as well. All right, and then Cupcake, again, a very utilitarian shade. Don't think you're gonna just be like wowed by the swatch here, but you are gonna be wowed by the looks that you create. These are gorgeous. Again, I got an old creme brulee right here. Putting together, I don't know if it's gonna be today that I film it, but I am putting together a Makeup Geek kind of like a um, say goodbye guide to makeup geek eyeshadow. So like when you finally pan your last shadow or you know it goes bad or whatever, whatever. We're gonna try to find some shadows that you could buy in place of the shades the makeup geek used to put out. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And let's keep going. This is Sydney Grace's uh, Red Chameleon right here. <clears throat> Gorgeous. Oh, I hope you guys saw that swatch. If not, there it is. Daydreamer, Makeup Geek, wonderful shade. Again, quite lavender, quite icy, very beautiful. It's got quite a bit more saturation than, um, is that in the spotlight or Daydreamer? Whimsical, you know what I mean, you know what I meant. All right, so this is Latte by Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a nice juicy swatch of that. That is, uh, there, there it is beautiful oh this one's going to be really hard to find i'm going to say right now a lot of these utilitarian shades are going to have to probably come from sydney grace because i don't think sydney grace is going anywhere and i just don't have a lot of matte shadows from any other brand um i have a lot of special shades but not not the utilitarian mattes makeup geek was my utilitarian mattes um brand so when i come back from my no buy when i come back i am you know, one of the great things about having this no buy is that this is uh, Divina's Tucana, by the way, right here, I'm gonna swatch for you. And one of the things that I am going to focus on is finding sustainable brands that I can find some utilitarian matte shades for. So just, you know, be on the lookout for that. Be, make, make sure you're subscribed. This is, this is gorgeous, one of the most wearable ones. I know that I put this in the Rose Quartz palette. I also feel like I've put this in another Huda Beauty palette, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. And it might have also went into my Wild Tiger Obsessions by Huda Beauty. I, I'm not 100% sure. So, okay. Bitten, Makeup Geek, does not swatch very well at all. Uh, we'll give you that. It doesn't swatch. It swatches like not very good at all. But does it work? Oh, absolutely. And this one, I can't remember, this is not Mesmerize, this Grandstand, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably my second favorite ne right next to Mesmerize. Believe it or not, Grandstand, um, I wore this for like two weeks straight one time. I just, I got into a rut, it was like a mental health type of thing and I just needed to be with something familiar and Grandstand was it for me. So that's definitely what I did. Is this Starry Eyed? In the spotlight. I see peach pink shade right there. Very, very nice. And then Makeup Geek's Vintage. Oh, that swatch like a dream. And now we come up to Mesmerized. I'm like ultra close to the microphone right now, so I do apologize if it's like peaking or anything like that, but I'm, I'm trying to get like my arm in here, so <laughs> I just happen to be like right next to the microphone maybe it just sounds amazing and it's like you're gonna fall asleep to this but starry-eyed again another makeup geek treasure this right here you could wear this and mesmerized all over the lid and you just you would get compliments for days <laughs> i'm just gonna tell you that right now this is a hot stuff oh this is a duochrome I know that. I bought it and I couldn't... Is it a duochrome? I don't know. Anyways. I believe it is. It's like a... Uh, yeah, it's a duochrome. But it, here it is. And it's got like that uh, greenish tint to it. You can see it right there. And as I put it over, you can see the golden shift. Okay. Tierra. This is also... I don't know if it's actually like a full-on duochrome, but it's like it does have two tones in it. It's like a Tin Man's Dream. Bridal. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. Um, it's in my top 10 recommended uh, video for Sydney Grace. I'm going to link that for you guys in the eye. This is going to be Chickadee by Makeup Geek. And again, another cult classic favorite. I think you guys are going to find it is so wonderful. This is, was it Troops? Yeah, Troops by Sydney Grace right there. 
Oh, you didn't even see the swatch. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm like right up in the microphone's guts. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the swatch on the back of my hand. This is Terra Borealis by uh, Terra Moons here. You guys can see it's it's a little bit much. It's a little bit extra. <laughs> it's like my two fav or two most loathed shadows on my channel or shadow colors on my channel. So pink, right? And blue. And those I like don't like them at all. But in a duochrome, this is the only way I feel I can wear it. So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This just makes my heart overjoyed. Very, very nostalgic feeling. Really enjoyed hanging out with you, putting together all of your favorite shadows. Stay tuned for a look. You're not going to want to miss it. And subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys. I can be sad with you.